Good morning, good morning. Welcome back to Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels. And today I'm going to tell you guys about denied three times. That's right, denied three times. But what is Matthew Daniels talking about? Um, A long, long time ago, in a city then known as Jerusalem, the populace was in an uproar over the recent apprehension of a man named Jesus, accused of blasphemy, witchcraft, and of challenging the authority of God and of Rome. It was said that he had been traveling around for more than three years, preaching to people about the kingdom of God and performing many different miracles. The man drew large crowds in several cities, but he kept with him 12 close disciples that he was training to continue his work after his death. The day came when Jesus knew he would be taken, and after a final meal with his 12 disciples, he told them all disparaging news. He revealed that all of those closest to him would be offended by him and leave him alone by the end of the night. One of his most loyal but prideful disciples proclaimed that even if all the other disciples left him, he would never leave the side of his teacher and Lord. Peter, the man said, Verily I say unto thee, that this night, before the cock crow, thou shalt deny me three times. Lord, Peter replied with confidence, I would die before I would deny you. With that, the man took his disciples off to pray. While he did, just as he predicted, his enemies came for him in the dead of night. They came with many men and weapons, and they took the man off to be tried for false crimes. The man, who was once loved by many, was now hated by most. The people had been convinced that the man who had been sent to help them was actually working on behalf of Satan. As the man, Jesus, was questioned and beaten before the eyes of the public, the boastful disciple Peter stood off watching. Thou also was with the man of Galilee, a girl said to him, recognizing him as a disciple. I do not know what you are talking about, Peter denied, quickly before trying to hide his face and walk away. This fellow was also with the man of Nazareth, another said, after seeing Peter. Again, Peter denied knowing the man, and he even swore an oath that he did not know him, and he tried to walk to another spot. Surely thou also art one of them, for thy speech betrays you, someone said. Peter cursed at them all, and for the third time he denied knowing the man. Just then, when he did, he heard a rooster crow, and he remembered the words of his Lord. Peter sank into a low point of depression because of this, but in the end, after the man, Jesus, was killed and rose again, Peter redeemed himself by becoming the rock upon which the church of people who believe upon Jesus was built. And he is known in history for his loyalty and love despite his imperfections. And so, the morning motivation of today is denied three times. In life, family, we might sometimes drop the ball and we may let those down who are depending on us the most. And when we do fall short of what's expected of us, it can make us feel like burying our heads in the sand and hiding from the world. So today, family, I just want to remind you that even though you might make a bad decision and you might turn your back on those who are in your corner, it is never too late to change your ways and turn things around. If you have let people down in the past, allow today to be your reset. Yes, you have denied those you should have embraced. But as long as you live, the opportunity is still present. So go out there and redeem yourself. Make good what you have made wrong. And make sure you go and get my new book, Morning Motivation with Matthew Daniels, Volume 1. Pre-order is available on my website, dandyandbigherm.com. But you can order the book today through Amazon. Thank you for your support. And remember, you are awesome. You are amazing. You are wonderful and you are great. And you are going to change the world. I just hope I'm still alive to see it, family. I'm out. Good morning.